Item 28 is a joint council member report from Mayor Pro Tem Kendrick and Mayor Pro Tem Goebel. Gentlemen, will you please tell us about this? Uh, Mayor and Council, the San Diego Union Tribune had an article last month about the Southwest Key facility at roughly Broadway and Oro Street in El Cajon. And what concerned me the most was the report in the article that there, the number of calls for service to our police department, including seven for runaways, but only three were reported as required to the state of California. Uh, I think we would all ask what happened to the other four, and we don't know. The city doesn't have any authority over operations. They operate by right under the zoning. So I guess uh, what I would like to do, though, is just find out more information. And so I'm asking uh, the council to approve city staff to meet with a local director to find out the understanding of what is going on there in response to specifically the items raised in the article. And also that we would prepare a letter from the city council to the California Department of Social Services and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, uh, informing them of these inconsistencies and, and asking if they're in compliance with all state license and federal contracting laws. Uh, these are our children, and it does affect our community. It does affect the police that they reported had, I believe, 20 calls for service, uh, seven of them for runaways. And so it does have an impact on our community. My purpose in this item is solely to ask for more information and to alert those who have oversight that we're interested in that everybody is complying with the law, especially when it comes to minors. <coughs> Sounds like a great idea. Any other thoughts? Well, I want to give Councilman Goebel credit for this. He's the one that called me and asked about my opinion. And uh, I agree completely with him. Uh, the primary purpose of local government is protection of the citizens, even those that are undocumented. So I think it's uh, important we let the proper authorities uh, know what's going on there and that they look at this very carefully and make sure everyone is safe. Let's see if there's any uh, spear cards of this item. We have four speakers. The first one is Anna Babudar. <clears throat> Hello, welcome. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Anna Babudar. I'm actually the program director for Southwest Key Programs here in San Diego. Um, and I am here um, as a courtesy from our, our nonprofit organization and um, our regional directors that are also present to invite you guys definitely to do a tour of our facility to get the appropriate approvals through the Office of Refugee and Resettlement and we can meet hopefully in the near future and be transparent in the work that we do and for you guys to understand the limitations and the work that we do with um, California State Licensing. We're also monitored by the Office of Refugee and Resettlement as a federal agency for them that we're granted through and we're monitored internally by Southwest Key Programs. Um, so we actually met with state licensing earlier this year and we were not cited for any of our reporting issues. We hold three licenses in San Diego and we do all our reporting accordingly to them as well as to all the ag other agencies that we report to. So we've been in the city of um, El Cajon since February of 2016. Um, and, you know, we have great community members. We have people that are outside our facility since this summer that have been um, not necessarily protesters, but more of there for the kids as well. And we have good uh, relationships with our business neighbors as well. Um, so I welcome you to... Um, for us to schedule that meeting and for us to get the appropriate approvals from the Office of Refugee, Refugee and Resettlement for you guys to come on board and uh, do a tour of our facility. I'd like do that, you, thank you. Do you guys have any questions for me at this time? Not a question, but I'd like to take the tour. Um, if you can call, uh, let me give you the number. Um, or call here or somebody will direct you to the office or I can give you myself. Okay. Yes, um, I can find your information and I can send it to you. Now. Okay, go ahead. 619-244-6220. 244-6220. Okay, thank you. Yep. Any other questions or comments? No, thank you for coming. I appreciate that. Thank you. Sebi Sebastian. Mr. Sebastian, welcome. Good afternoon. Um, 
My name is Sebi Sebastian. I'm here in my role as the regional executive director of one of the regional executive directors of Sotoski programs. As some of you know, we have had a shelter program for immigrant minors in El Cajon for several years. We are grateful to the city for the support we received all these years. Recently, there were some concerns about the operation of our program, how it is being managed. We are a licensed group home under California Community Care Licensing. And the analysts visit our program unannounced or announced, as well as the federal uh, ORR monitors visit our program unannounced or announced. They look at our files, they look at our operations. They have very strict rules in terms of how we operate. And all the children, if they run away, <coughs> they are reported to the uh, public uh, safety. And we don't follow up with them where they went. If they are ever found, then ICE or Border Patrol will take care of them. We don't bring them back to the shelter. That is what happens. And we welcome any of the council members to visit our program, to see our operation, how we do. You are most welcome. Please contact Anna, and she will be able to arrange that visit. <coughs> Let me see if there are any questions. Gentlemen? Oh, thank you for coming, though, sir. Okay. Thank you. Ismail Aviles. Hello and good afternoon. Um, just more along the same light, I am an administrator with Southwest Key. We've been in operation in El Cajon for the last two years, but we've also been in the unincorporated area of El Cajon for over 20 years. We're, you know, on the border of Alpine, Santee, where we're under the San Diego uh, County jurisdiction. So we're not a new organization. We've been around for quite some time, and we also have another one in Lemon Grove. Um, we have a uh, a pretty stellar record. The information that you saw on the news, uh, unfortunately, only got half of the story. But we would love to have the opportunity to be able to explain exactly what was uh, in that report. And as Anna had mentioned earlier, uh, we were not cited. So I think that that exemplifies the fact that, you know, it was not necessarily in a violation. But what we saw as a clerical <coughs> issue uh, in terms of the three locations they were looking at, different locations and it was a filing issue. But again, we opened the invitation for all of you to go see the facility. We have a really outstanding organization, a stand-up facility, um, which I think uh, it behooves all of us to have that type of communication and open dialogue, particularly in these times when uh, the whole question of uh, migrants and immigration is a hot topic. I think that um, we all should be on the same page and you all have a, a direct relationship with us rather than, you know, hearing information through the media and, and, and so forth. Okay? So thank you very much and I look forward to meeting every one of you. Let me see if there's any questions. Questions? Thank you, sir. Appreciate thank it. You. Two more speakers, sir. Uh, Bonnie Price. Hi, Bonnie. Thank you for putting this on the agenda. When <clears throat> we brought, <clears throat> pardon me, I can't stand air conditioning. <laughs> um, when I, we brought this idea forward about Southwest Key some time ago, um, <clears throat> the uh, federal government was supposedly contracting with Southwest Key and other providers throughout the country to take care of children who were separated at the border when their parents were seeking asylum or these children came alone because it was too dangerous for them to stay where they lived. <clears throat> when we brought this forward to the council, the council said basically there's nothing you can do about it. It's a federal issue. And I contacted Representative Susan Davis. She, Nancy Pelosi, and Juan Vargas made local area inspections. <clears throat> They're very concerned about this. I'm concerned on a national scale. The uh, Department of Homeland Security has said it's not their problem, uh, that the people who are hired are not vetted properly. 
and it's not their responsibility to vet. And if kids are in there and running away, who knows why they're running away except they don't want to be imprisoned. You know, who wouldn't want to run away? But if you're abused, you're developing some hatred for the country that you're trying to escape to, and that you have escaped to. So it's very important that there be inspection constantly to make sure that people are not being harmed. And I'm grateful that the local Southwest Key facility is willing to have people come and oversee what they're doing. I think this is a, a move that should be made nationwide. Southwest Key is making millions, if not a billion, on this kind of operation. In some places, they're charging $700 a night per inhabitant. And that would get you a pretty good room in a five-star hotel, <laughs> wouldn't it? So thank you for bringing this forward. And, and I urge all of you to take up the opportunity to visit. And maybe you could even get Duncan Hunter to show up. Thank you.